Tower. Guard towers provide further protection against attack. They control access to the walkway and the top of the wall. Guards have a good view of the countryside and the entire castle grounds. The towers also provide shelter from the cold and sometimes they contain ovens that keep the guards food warm. Wall. Thick stone walls, more than 30 feet high, protect the castle from attack. Guards with arrows and spears patrol along the walkway, ready to shoot invaders who might try to climb the walls. During an attack, the defenders use the cutouts in the wall for protection from a storm of arrows that might be directed against them. Through the long slits in the wall, the guards shoot their arrows and hurl their spears at the attacking army. Moat. The moat is a deep ditch filled with water that lies around the base of the castle wall. This makes it very difficult for attacking troops to get in position to climb the castle walls. Often during extended battles, an attacking army will try to fill the moat with rocks and soil, or try to drain the water. Mews. The mews are cages where falcons are kept. The king and his family use the falcons for hunting. Muse. 
The mules are cages where falcons are kept. The king and his family use the falcons for hunting. Perched on the falconer's gloved fist, the birds are hooded until such time as they are ready to hunt. Falcons have excellent eyesight and dazzling flying speed that enables them to swoop down quickly on their prey, which includes small animals and other birds. Stables. In the stables, the horses of the king and his knights are cared for. Servants sleep in the stable with the horses and protect them with their lives. Harnesses, saddles and armor are also kept in the stable. Knight's practice area. This is where the knights and the defenders of the castle practice and train for battle. It is where they also hold their jousting tournaments and is the scene of much ceremony and fanfare as the knights fight for the honor of their king and their ladies. Dungeon is a prison where criminals and enemies of the king are held. It is cold and damp, and the prisoners are not treated very well. Storeroom contains the crops and products that come from the land of the castle. Pork, mutton, bacon, and game are stored here, as well as corn, barley, cheese, and timber. The Great Hall is the center of the kingdom. It is here that the king gets news of the world from wandering knights, traders, and minstrels. Music, games, and stories fill the hall as the king and his queen host a feast for their guests. The king, his knights, and his honored guests sit at a special raised table or high table, while the rest of the guests are seated at long tables on a lower level. A typical feast might include a boar's head filled with pudding, shellfish and salmon, beef with spices, stuffed quarter of bear, squirrel stew, sugared nuts and cakes with honey. <music> Barracks of the King's Guard houses the guards who protect the King and his family. The soldiers sleep on mats of straw spread over the stone floor. Chapel is the religious center of the castle, where the king, his family, and his knights attend mass and other rites of the church. The chaplain usually leads the congregation in morning prayers that started each day in the keep. Servants' rooms, here is where the maids and servants live and go about such work as sewing, weaving and embroidering. Traveling troubadours often sing songs and read poetry to these women. Friars also read to them and bring them the latest teachings in philosophy and science. Many of these servants are quite educated. The royal chamber is where the king and queen sleep and relax. The king sleeps in a large canopy bed with a mattress filled with straw and feathers. The curtains around the bed keep it warm and private. Several of the king's most trusted servants sleep in the same room with him. The king's children and dogs also live in this large room. Because it is very dark in the royal chamber at night, a huge candle burns brightly, making it easy to see in the dark. Garden. 
Inside the castle, there is a walled garden where the queen and her maidens grow plants and herbs for cooking and medicine. Mint, thyme, fennel, parsley and sage are said to contain many magical properties and cure various ailments. Kitchen Sheds. In the kitchen sheds, the servants prepare the food. There is no coffee or tea, and people usually drink beer with their bread and food. Plain water carries illnesses, and people avoid it. Sheep. Within the castle grounds, a shepherd and his family raise a flock of sheep. Other animals, such as chickens and pigs, are also raised to provide food for the king, his knights, and their families. If the castle was surrounded during a siege, these animals would provide the necessary food to keep the defenders going. Sometimes a castle would be besieged for weeks or months without any supplies getting into the castle. <laughs> Fish pond. A fish pond provides fresh fish to eat and a place where children can play. If the castle is attacked, water from the pond is used to put out fires started with flaming arrows. Drawbridge. Once a friendly visitor is let into the Barbican, he or she will wait for the drawbridge to be lowered from the other side of the moat. An iron grill, called a portcullis, is then raised and finally two giant doors are unbolted and the visitor can enter the castle. Barbican. The Barbican is a gatehouse that is located across the moat from the castle. It controls the entrance to the main gate and the drawbridge. Enemies have to get through the Barbican before they can attack the main gate.
Hey, put that back.